Let's, let's do this. All right. Okay. We can start breaking down. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, I mean how tall is he? He's taller than me, isn't he? Is that about right? Do you think? Okay. We're, get, we're gonna have to get a few shots of us sort of wandering around the palace, chatting and stuff, aren't we? Can we get those before or after the interview? Uh, probably best to do the small talk and the cutaway shots before I ask him whether he paid an underage rent boy to take a dump on his chest. What do you think? There's no terrace overlooking the courtyard, but my great, great, great grandfather had this whole wing redesigned at the turn of the last century. He had a keen interest in architecture. Home improvement, as it were. Yeah, I, I recently had to repaint my kitchen. We'll have to take this quite you know, slow. This shut up. Shut up. All right. It's three simple questions. When did you find out Sir Harry Carmichael was a fucking nonce? When you found out he was a fucking nonce, why did you continue to stay on his yacht? And did an underage prostitute actually... You know, <laughs> job fucking done. Tell us about your charity work. Hmm? Should have had a beta blocker. <sighs> Where is he? That's good. Uh, Let's uh, do that. Something like that, yeah. All right, all right. Um, can you just watch this collar if it does that? Will do. Um, and can you just try and sit slightly? Yeah. Yes, of course I can. <coughs> Your Royal Highness. Uh, we're here today under rather unusual circumstances. Normally, we'd be here talking about your charity work. Basically, I couldn't have been there because, like I said, I was at a Nando's in Bedford with my daughter and uh, two of her school chums. So that's where I was. So you can't remember the exact date, month even, that you last met Sir Harry Carmichael, but you can remember what you had for dinner seven years ago. Well, I, I don't recall the exact dish. But, uh, chicken, I think. Um, no, no, what, what you have to understand is the reason I remember being at the Nando's is because going to a Nando's is not a position I would normally tend to find myself. It's, it's Nando's. Your, Your Majesty, Your Royal Highness, sorry. It's Nando's, not Nando's. Nan as in ma'am, not nan as in ma'am. Well, again, that was all dealt with by my staff and not by me. Um, forgive me, when you say staff, um, what, what you have to understand is that somebody like me with a mortgage, childcare, Morrisons, I, I don't have staff, um, I have a cleaner two hours a week. Um, actually, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start this again. Um, how many members of your staff were aware of the allegations surrounding Sir Harry Carmichael before the Sun newspaper ran with that now infamous front page? Yes, well, I wouldn't know how to answer that, I'm afraid, because I don't have access to that sort of information. This wasn't a party in perhaps the way you might think. I mean, when you say party, uh, a party can mean many things. Uh, absolutely. The last party that I went to was my son's fifth birthday. Uh, everyone there was underage as well. I, I suppose what I'm trying to work out is what sort of party was this? Was this a dinner party or more a sort of disco? It wasn't a dinner party. It was a shooting party. It was during the day. But it was a party. Well, <laughs> neither of those is a party. I mean, a shooting party isn't a party, and a, a dinner party isn't a party, really. But this was just a, a normal, everyday shooting party. What is a shooting party? I mean, what is that? When, when you say party, what do you mean by party? Sorry, I think we're just getting a bit off topic here, really. Can we, can we take two minutes? I just can't tell if he's lying through his teeth or if he's just fucking thick. Or if he's just so fucking royal that he exists in a reality that isn't in any way a reality. It's all three. You all right? <sighs> yeah, you're doing all right. You yeah, just need, just, to, go just need to get a grip. I just yeah, need yeah, to get just a grip. need to go for it, mate. All right. All right. Now, Your Royal Highness, one of the accusers was a 15-year-old male prostitute. Yes. Who alleges yes. that you paid him £120 yes. 
for him to pass a motion yes. onto your chest. Yes. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. No. A quote from his sworn deposition. Um, he aggressively started to unbutton his shirt, but his bow tie was still done up. And I remember his flobby man tits were everywhere. I was scared. There are two slight problems with this. One, because you see, I was in training for a half marathon in aid of Help the Heroes at the time. I was in the peak of physical health at the time, so... <laughs> no flobby man tits. And secondly, I can't actually aggressively unbutton a shirt because I have a medical condition. I have very, very sensitive cuticles, which makes it uh, difficult for me to aggressively do delicate tasks with my fingers. It's a fault of mine, I suppose. Uh, my judgment may have been marred by my tendency to be too decent a person. When that is said and done, look, of course it is unfortunate that Sir Harry did what he did. Unfortunate? We're talking about the systematic sexual exploitation of children, underage boys and girls, and you stayed with him and used his yacht after this was widely known. Your Royal Highness, no one expects a senior member of the royal family to know what it's like to buy milk or make your own porridge. But we do expect you to know right from wrong. And I have accepted that I have done wrong. But you don't seem to be very sorry for it. Um, let's talk a little bit about your charities. Your Royal Highness, thank you. Well, I think that went quite well. Mm. That's my fucking knighthood down the fucking swanee. That, that was like interviewing one of David Icke's lizard people. Do you know, the only question I wish I'd have asked is, bearing in mind you're the 17th richest person on the planet, don't you think £120 is a pitiful amount of money to pay for someone to take a dump on your chest? Who, who wants that? Who does that? I mean, just the smell of it. Oh. Off with his fucking head, as far as I'm concerned.